Top 30 Worst Drug Addictions in Hollywood History Welcome to our channel. Grab a warm cup of coffee and settle in as we take a deep dive into the dark side of Hollywood. In today's video, we'll revisit the heart-wrenching stories of famous stars who battled addiction. From their rise to fame to their tragic falls, join us as we uncover the raw and often hidden struggles behind the glamour. Stay tuned and let's explore these powerful tales together. Joanna Moore Joanna Moore, a talented actress in Hollywood, lived a life full of ups and downs. Born Dorothy Joan Cook, Joanna starred in over 17 feature films and appeared in more than 100 television episodes. However, her career began to decline as she faced severe issues with alcohol and drug addiction. In the 1970s, Joanna sought help from psychiatric hospitals but found little success. Her substance abuse problems led to an arrest for drunk driving and losing custody of her children. Her personal life was ravaged by substance abuse, and she lived in squalid conditions with her children on a rundown ranch. Joanna married actor Ryan O'Neill in 1963, and they had two children, Tatum and Griffin. Ryan's career flourished while Joanna's despair and addiction deepened. After their divorce, her condition worsened. In her autobiography, daughter Tatum O'Neill described a life filled with drugs, unsanitary conditions, and neglect, where she and her brother resorted to eating dog food. Joanna's smoking habits eventually caught up with her, and she succumbed to lung cancer in 1997. Despite her tragic life and struggles with personal issues, Joanna Moore is remembered as a talented actress with significant contributions to film and television. Her roles in The Andy Griffith Show and Peyton Place left a lasting impression on audiences and remain a memorable part of Hollywood history. If you find this video not interesting enough, hit the like button to save it and watch it later. Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen, is an iconic figure in Hollywood history, celebrated for her stunning beauty, charismatic screen presence, and tumultuous personal life. Rising to fame in the 1950s, Marilyn starred in classic films such as Some Like It Hot, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, and The Seven Year Itch. Her alluring charm and memorable performances made her a beloved star, Yet behind the glamorous facade lay a woman struggling with profound personal issues. Monroe's life was marred by a series of challenges, including a troubled childhood and numerous foster homes. As she rose to stardom, she faced immense pressure and scrutiny, leading to struggles with substance abuse, depression, and possibly bipolar disorder. Her personal relationships were also turbulent, with high-profile marriages to baseball legend Joe DiMaggio and playwright Arthur Miller ending in divorce. Despite her professional success, Monroe's insecurities and mental health struggles were exacerbated by the relentless demands of Hollywood and constant public scrutiny. On August 5, 1962, Marilyn Monroe was found dead in her Brentwood home at the age of 36. The cause of death was determined to be acute barbiturate poisoning, leading to a conclusion of probable suicide. Her untimely death shocked the world and left many questions unanswered. Despite the tragic end, Monroe's legacy endures. She remains a symbol of beauty, talent, and the often harsh realities of fame. Her films and persona continue to captivate audiences, ensuring her place as a lasting icon in popular culture. Judy Garland. Judy Garland, born Frances Ethel Gum, is best known for her unforgettable role as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Her career began at a young age when she signed with Metro Goldwyn Meyer, MGM, as a teenager. Garland's remarkable talent for singing, acting, and dancing made her one of Hollywood's most beloved stars. She went on to star in numerous films alongside legends like Mickey Rooney and Gene Kelly, captivating audiences with her vibrant performances. Despite her on-screen success, Garland's personal life was fraught with difficulties. The pressures of stardom took a severe toll on her mental and physical health. 
MGM executives placed her on a strict diet and regularly provided her with amphetamines and sleeping pills to keep up with the demanding filming schedules. These early encounters with prescription drugs led to a lifelong battle with addiction, which was exacerbated by the studio's relentless demands and criticisms of her appearance. Garland's struggles with addiction and mental health issues culminated in a series of nervous breakdowns and personal setbacks. She was married five times and faced numerous financial troubles, which only added to her stress. Tragically, Judy Garland died of a drug overdose at the age of 47 in 1969. Despite the hardships she endured, her legacy as one of Hollywood's brightest stars endures. Her performances continue to inspire and entertain new generations, solidifying her status as an icon in the entertainment industry. Drew Barrymore Drew Barrymore, born into the legendary Barrymore acting family, made her film debut at the tender age of seven in Steven Spielberg's E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Her portrayal of Gertie in the beloved sci-fi classic launched her into the spotlight, and she quickly became one of Hollywood's most recognizable child stars. Barrymore's early success, however, was accompanied by immense pressure and the challenges of growing up in the public eye. Barrymore's childhood and teenage years were marked by a series of tumultuous events. By the age of 11, she had developed a drinking problem, which soon escalated to drug use. Her mother frequently took her to parties where she was exposed to a fast-paced adult lifestyle. By 13, Barrymore had entered rehab for the first time after a suicide attempt, leading to a temporary separation from her parents and legal emancipation at 14. This period of her life was a dark chapter that she later chronicled in her autobiography, Little Girl Lost. Despite these early struggles, Barrymore managed to turn her life around and forge a successful career as an adult actress and producer. She starred in numerous hit films such as The Wedding Singer, Fifty First Dates, and Charlie's Angels. Additionally, she founded her own production company, Flower Films, which produced several successful movies. Drew Barrymore's journey from troubled child star to accomplished actress and businesswoman is a testament to her resilience and talent. Today, she continues to thrive in both her professional and personal life, earning admiration and respect from fans and peers alike. Mary-Kate Olsen Mary-Kate Olsen, along with her twin sister Ashley, became a household name at just nine months old when they were cast as Michelle Tanner on the popular TV show Full House. The Olsen twins quickly rose to fame, building a media empire that included television shows, films, and a lucrative line of merchandise. Their success as child stars was unparalleled, and they remained in the public eye throughout their formative years. As Mary-Kate transitioned from child star to adult, she faced numerous personal challenges. Her struggles with body image and self-esteem issues led to a battle with anorexia nervosa during her teenage years. This eating disorder, combined with the pressures of fame, took a significant toll on her health. In addition to her eating disorder, Mary-Kate also grappled with substance abuse, which further complicated her journey to wellness. Despite these challenges, Mary-Kate managed to reinvent herself in the fashion industry. Alongside Ashley, she co-founded the high-end fashion brands The Row and Elizabeth and James, earning critical acclaim and success. Her transition from actress to fashion mogul showcases her resilience and ability to adapt. Today, Mary-Kate Olsen is recognized not only for her early achievements in entertainment, but also for her substantial contributions to the fashion world, living a more private and balanced life. Misha Barton Misha Barton rose to fame as a teenager with her role as Marissa Cooper on the hit TV series The O.C., her portrayal of the troubled, wealthy teenager captivated audiences and made her a star. Before The O.C., Barton had already shown promise with performances in films such as The Sixth Sense and Notting Hill. Her success on the show opened doors to numerous acting opportunities and a prominent place in the spotlight. 
However, Barton's life off-screen mirrored some of the tumultuous experiences of her character on The O.C. She faced significant personal struggles, including issues with substance abuse and mental health. In 2007, she was arrested for DUI and possession of marijuana, which marked the beginning of a series of legal and personal troubles. In 2009, Barton was hospitalized under psychiatric evaluation after a public breakdown, which she later attributed to a combination of stress and the pressures of fame. Despite these setbacks, Misha Barton has worked to rebuild her life and career. She has appeared in various film and television projects and has spoken openly about her experiences with mental health and addiction, aiming to inspire others facing similar challenges. Barton's journey is one of resilience and perseverance, as she continues to navigate the complexities of life in the public eye while striving to find stability and success in her career. Brittany Murphy Brittany Murphy was a vibrant and talented actress known for her roles in films like Clueless, Eight Mile, and Just Married. Her charismatic performances and unique voice made her a beloved figure in Hollywood. Murphy's career spanned a variety of genres, showcasing her versatility as an actress and her ability to captivate audiences with both comedic and dramatic roles. Despite her professional success, Murphy's personal life was marked by struggles. She faced rumors of drug use and battled health issues that were often the subject of tabloid speculation. In December 2009, at the age of 32, Murphy tragically passed away. The initial cause of death was reported as natural causes, but further investigation revealed a mix of pneumonia, anemia, and multiple prescription drugs in her system. Her sudden and untimely death shocked fans and raised questions about the pressures and challenges she faced in the entertainment industry. Brittany Murphy's legacy continues to live on through her memorable performances and the impact she had on those who knew her. Her talent and spirit are remembered fondly by fans and colleagues alike. Despite the tragic end to her life, Murphy's contributions to film and television remain a testament to her skill and dedication as an actress. Her story serves as a reminder of the intense pressures that can accompany fame and the importance of addressing mental and physical health issues. Jodie Sweetin Jodie Sweetin became a familiar face to millions as Stephanie Tanner on the beloved sitcom Full House. Starting her acting career at the age of five, Sweetin charmed audiences with her portrayal of the precocious middle Tanner daughter. The show's success and her performance made her a household name, and she continued to be a beloved figure even after the series ended in 1995. However, Sweetin's life after Full House was far from smooth. Following the conclusion of the show, she struggled with substance abuse, including alcohol, ecstasy, and methamphetamine. Sweetin has been open about her battles with addiction, which began in her teenage years and escalated in her 20s. Her journey through rehab and recovery was challenging, but she has used her experiences to help others facing similar struggles. Today, Jody Sweeten has turned her life around and found new success. She reprised her role as Stephanie Tanner in the Full House spin-off, Fuller House, reconnecting with fans and introducing herself to a new generation. In addition to her acting career, Sweeten is a certified drug and alcohol counselor and actively works to support those dealing with addiction. Her resilience and commitment to helping others highlight her strength and determination to overcome adversity and make a positive impact. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan first gained widespread recognition as a child actress with her breakout role in Disney's The Parent Trap. Her early success continued with teen classics like Freaky Friday, Mean Girls, and Herbie Fully Loaded, where her charm and talent solidified her status as a rising star in Hollywood. Lohan's performances were celebrated for their energy and charisma, making her one of the most sought-after young actresses of her time. However, Lohan's transition to adulthood was marred by numerous personal and legal issues. She struggled with substance abuse, 
leading to multiple arrests for DUI and drug possession. Lohan's tumultuous personal life was heavily covered by the media, and she faced several stints in rehab as she battled addiction. Her erratic behavior and legal troubles overshadowed her acting career, causing a significant decline in her professional opportunities. Despite these challenges, Lohan has made efforts to rebuild her life and career. She has taken on various roles in independent films and television projects, and in recent years, she has focused on her business ventures, including opening a beach club in Greece. Lohan's journey reflects the complexities of growing up in the spotlight and the ongoing struggle to find balance and stability. Her resilience and determination to overcome adversity continue to inspire her fans and those facing similar challenges. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes rose to fame as a child star on Nickelodeon's All That and later with her own show, The Amanda Show. Her comedic talent and vibrant personality quickly made her a beloved figure among young audiences. Bynes successfully transitioned to film with roles in popular movies like What a Girl Wants, She's the Man, and Hairspray, earning praise for her performances and comedic timing. However, Bynes' life took a dramatic turn in her 20s when she began facing significant personal and mental health issues. Her erratic behavior, including several run-ins with the law and bizarre social media posts, raised concerns among fans and the media. Bynes was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and reportedly struggled with substance abuse, leading to multiple hospitalizations and a conservatorship overseen by her parents. In recent years, Bynes has worked towards recovery and stability. She enrolled in the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, FIDM, and graduated with a degree in fashion design, showcasing her creative talents beyond acting. Bynes has also expressed a desire to return to acting and reclaim her place in the entertainment industry. Her story is a poignant reminder of the pressures and challenges that come with early fame, and her efforts to rebuild her life highlight her resilience and strength. Congratulations on completing 1-3 of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment 1, otherwise comment 0. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. Whitney Houston Whitney Houston was one of the greatest vocalists of all time. Known for her powerful voice and hit songs such as I Will Always Love You, Greatest Love of All, and I Want to Dance with Somebody. Her debut album, released in 1985, became the best-selling debut album by a woman in history. Houston's extraordinary talent and charisma quickly established her as a global superstar, and she enjoyed a successful career in both music and film, including her memorable role in The Bodyguard. Despite her professional achievements, Houston's personal life was riddled with challenges. She struggled with substance abuse for many years, which significantly affected her career and public image. Her tumultuous marriage to singer Bobby Brown was marked by public controversies and allegations of drug use and domestic disputes. Despite several attempts at rehab, Houston's battle with addiction persisted, overshadowing her immense talent and contributions to the music industry. Tragically, Whitney Houston passed away on February 11, 2012, at the age of 48. She was found submerged in a bathtub in her hotel room, with heart disease and cocaine use listed as contributing factors to her accidental drowning. Her untimely death sent shockwaves through the music world and among her fans. Houston's legacy, however, remains intact, as she is remembered for her unparalleled voice and the timeless music she left behind. Her life story serves as a poignant reminder of the destructive nature of addiction and the pressures of fame. Demi Lovato Demi Lovato, an American singer and actress, first gained fame with their role in Disney Channel's Camp Rock and their subsequent music career. Lovato's powerful voice and emotive performances quickly garnered a dedicated fan base with hit songs like Skyscraper, Sorry Not Sorry, and Heart Attack. Their journey from a Disney star to a successful pop artist has been marked by both professional success and personal struggles. 
Lovato has been open about their battles with mental health issues, including bipolar disorder, eating disorders, and substance abuse. They have undergone multiple stints in rehab to address these issues and have used their platform to raise awareness about mental health and addiction. In 2018, Lovato suffered a near-fatal overdose, which led to a significant turning point in their life. This event prompted Lovato to commit to sobriety and continue their recovery journey with renewed focus and determination. In recent years, Demi Lovato has made a strong comeback, releasing music that reflects their personal struggles and triumphs. They have also become an advocate for mental health, sharing their story to help others facing similar challenges. Lovato's resilience and openness about their experiences have inspired many, highlighting the importance of mental health awareness and the possibility of recovery. Their ongoing efforts to maintain sobriety and advocate for mental health make them a powerful voice in both the music industry and the broader conversation about mental wellness. Mickey Rooney Mickey Rooney was one of Hollywood's most enduring and versatile stars, with a career spanning nearly nine decades. Beginning his acting journey as a child star in the 1920s, Rooney quickly became a household name with his role as Andy Hardy in the popular film series. His boyish charm and boundless energy made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Rooney's extensive filmography includes memorable performances in classics like Babes in Arms, National Velvet, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. Despite his professional success, Rooney's personal life was tumultuous. He struggled with addiction to sleeping pills, a problem exacerbated by the pressures of his career and multiple marriages. Rooney was married eight times and faced numerous financial difficulties, including bankruptcy. His relationships with his children were strained, with some alleging he was a controlling and abusive figure. These personal challenges often overshadowed his achievements in the entertainment industry. Rooney passed away on April 6, 2014, at the age of 93. Despite the controversies and struggles that marked his life, he is remembered for his remarkable talent and contribution to film and television. Rooney's ability to adapt to different roles and genres ensured his longevity in Hollywood, making him a true legend of the silver screen. His story serves as a reminder of the complex and often difficult lives led by those in the spotlight. David O. Selznick David O. Selznick was a legendary film producer best known for his work on Gone with the Wind, one of the most acclaimed films in cinematic history. Born into a family involved in the movie business, Selznick quickly made a name for himself with his keen eye for talent and dedication to high-quality productions. His other notable works include Rebecca, which won the Academy Award for Best Picture, and King Kong, a groundbreaking film in the early days of Hollywood. Selznick's professional achievements were often accompanied by personal struggles, particularly his battle with drug addiction. He was known to use Benzedrine, a stimulant, to maintain his intense work schedule. This addiction impacted his health and relationships, contributing to a reputation for being difficult to work with. Despite these challenges, Selznick's passion for filmmaking and his relentless pursuit of perfection left a lasting mark on the industry. David O. Selznick passed away on June 22, 1965, at the age of 63. His legacy in Hollywood is cemented by the enduring popularity of his films and his innovative approach to production. Selznick's work continues to be studied and admired by filmmakers and audiences alike. While his personal demons were a significant part of his life, his contributions to cinema have ensured his place in history as one of the greatest producers of all time. Michael Jackson Michael Jackson, often referred to as the King of Pop, is one of the most influential figures in the history of music. Jackson's career began as a child star with the Jackson 5, where his extraordinary talent quickly became evident. As a solo artist, he released groundbreaking albums such as Thriller, Bad, and Off the Wall, which included iconic hits like Billie Jean, Beat It, and Smooth Criminal. 
His innovative music videos and electrifying performances set new standards in the entertainment industry. Despite his monumental success, Jackson's personal life was plagued by controversy and struggles. He endured intense scrutiny and media attention, particularly regarding his changing appearance and eccentric lifestyle. Jackson's battle with prescription drug addiction began after suffering severe burns during the filming of a Pepsi commercial in 1984. This incident led to a dependency on painkillers and a series of health problems that would haunt him for the rest of his life. Michael Jackson died on June 25, 2009, at the age of 50, due to acute propofol and benzodiazepine intoxication. His death was ruled a homicide, and his personal physician was convicted of involuntary manslaughter. Despite the tragic end, Jackson's legacy as an artist remains unparalleled. He is remembered for his contributions to music, dance, and popular culture, and his influence continues to inspire artists worldwide. Jackson's life story is a complex tapestry of brilliance, innovation, and personal struggle. Corey Haim Corey Haim was a Canadian actor who became a teen idol in the 1980s, best known for his roles in films like The Lost Boys, Lucas, and License to Drive. His boyish good looks and natural charisma made him a favorite among young audiences. Haim often collaborated with fellow actor Corey Feldman, and the duo became known as The Two Coreys, starring in several popular films together and becoming cultural icons of the era. However, Haim's career was overshadowed by his struggles with addiction. He began using drugs at a young age, reportedly starting with marijuana on the set of The Lost Boys. His substance abuse escalated to include cocaine, crack, and prescription medications. Despite multiple stints in rehab, Haim's addiction issues persisted, severely impacting his professional life and leading to numerous legal and financial troubles. His attempts at a comeback were hindered by his ongoing battle with addiction. Corey Haim died on March 10, 2010, at the age of 38. Initially suspected to be an overdose, his death was later attributed to pneumonia, with contributing factors including an enlarged heart and narrowed blood vessels. His untimely death highlighted the tragic consequences of drug addiction. Despite his struggles, Haim is remembered for his early promise and the joy he brought to fans during his peak years. His story is a poignant reminder of the vulnerabilities that often accompany fame and the challenges of overcoming addiction. Ryan O'Neill Ryan O'Neill, a prominent American actor, rose to fame in the 1960s with his role as Rodney Harrington on the television series Peyton Place. His good looks and on-screen charisma quickly made him a heartthrob, leading to a successful film career. O'Neill's most notable work includes his Oscar-nominated performance in Love Story and his roles in Paper Moon and Barry Lyndon. His collaborations with his daughter, Tatum O'Neill, particularly in Paper Moon, showcased his versatility and depth as an actor. Behind the scenes, O'Neill's life was tumultuous, marked by substance abuse and turbulent relationships. He was involved in high-profile romances and marriages, including a famously rocky relationship with actress Farrah Fawcett. His struggles with drugs and alcohol were well-documented, impacting both his personal and professional life. O'Neill's relationship with his children, particularly Tatum, was strained, with allegations of abuse and neglect surfacing over the years. Ryan O'Neill passed away on December 8, 2023, leaving behind a complex legacy. Despite his personal challenges, his contributions to film and television remain significant. His career highlights the highs and lows of Hollywood stardom, with moments of brilliance on screen contrasted by a tumultuous off-screen life. O'Neill's story serves as a cautionary tale about the pressures of fame and the enduring impact of personal struggles on one's legacy. Bruno Mars Bruno Mars, born Peter Jean Hernandez, is a multi-talented American singer, songwriter, and record producer. 
Known for his exceptional vocal range, dynamic stage presence, and diverse musical style, Mars has delivered numerous hits that span genres like pop, R&B, funk, and soul. His breakout came with the debut album, Doo Wops and Hooligans, featuring chart-topping singles such as Just The Way You Are and Grenade. Mars continued to dominate the music scene with subsequent albums, including Unorthodox Jukebox and 24K Magic, earning him multiple Grammy Awards and widespread acclaim. Despite his immense success, Mars faced personal challenges, including a notable incident involving drug possession. In 2010, he was arrested in Las Vegas for cocaine possession. Mars later admitted to lying about his prior drug use during the incident, acknowledging the mistake and emphasizing the lessons learned. This episode marked a turning point as he committed to staying out of trouble and focusing on his music career. Since then, Bruno Mars has maintained a clean record and continued to achieve remarkable success. His collaborations with other artists, such as Mark Ronson on the hit Uptown Funk, further solidified his status as a leading figure in the music industry. Mars's ability to reinvent himself and deliver fresh, exciting music has endeared him to fans worldwide. His journey from a brief brush with the law to becoming one of the most celebrated artists of his generation underscores his resilience and dedication to his craft. River Phoenix River Phoenix, born River Jude Phoenix, was an American actor and musician who captivated audiences with his extraordinary talent and depth at a young age. He began his career in television before making a significant impact in film with standout performances in Stand By Me, My Own Private Idaho, and Running On Empty. Phoenix's natural charisma and ability to convey complex emotions made him a promising young star and earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Despite his professional success, Phoenix struggled with the pressures of fame and the darker side of Hollywood. Known for his activism and commitment to environmental and humanitarian causes, he was also deeply involved in the music scene. However, his personal life was marred by substance abuse. On October 31, 1993, Phoenix tragically died of a drug overdose outside the Viper Room, a nightclub in Los Angeles at the age of 23. His untimely death shocked the entertainment industry and his fans, highlighting the vulnerabilities faced by young stars. River Phoenix's legacy endures through his impactful performances and the promise of what could have been a long and illustrious career. He is remembered not only for his on-screen achievements, but also for his genuine spirit and dedication to making a difference. Phoenix's story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges that accompany early fame and the importance of addressing mental health and substance abuse issues. Macaulay Culkin Macaulay Culkin, born on August 26, 1980, skyrocketed to fame as a child actor with his iconic role as Kevin McAllister in the Home Alone series. His portrayal of the clever, resourceful boy who defends his home from burglars became a cultural phenomenon and made him one of the most recognizable child stars of the 1990s. Culkin's success continued with roles in films such as My Girl, Richie Rich, and The Good Son, showcasing his versatility and acting talent. As he transitioned into adolescence, Culkin faced significant personal and professional challenges. His parents' contentious custody battle over his fortune, combined with the pressures of early fame, led to a turbulent period in his life. Culkin eventually withdrew from acting to focus on his personal well-being. In 2004, he was arrested for possession of marijuana and prescription drugs without a valid prescription, further highlighting the difficulties he encountered during his young adulthood. Despite these setbacks, Culkin has made efforts to reclaim his life and career. He has taken on selective acting roles and has been involved in various creative projects, including his band, The Pizza Underground. Culkin has also become more open about his experiences, providing insights into the challenges of growing up in the spotlight. His journey from child star to adult 
has been marked by both triumphs and tribulations, but his resilience and willingness to share his story continue to inspire many. Elvis Presley Elvis Presley, often hailed as the king of rock and roll, remains one of the most influential cultural icons of the 20th century. Born on January 8, 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi, Presley began his music career in the mid-1950s and quickly rose to fame with his unique blend of rock, blues, and country music. His dynamic stage presence, characterized by his charismatic voice and provocative hip movements, captivated audiences worldwide. Hits like Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog, and Jailhouse Rock solidified his status as a music legend. Despite his monumental success, Presley's personal life was plagued by challenges, particularly his struggle with prescription drug addiction. His demanding career and the pressures of fame led to increasing reliance on medication to manage chronic pain and insomnia. This dependency ultimately took a severe toll on his health. On August 16, 1977, Presley was found dead at his Graceland mansion in Memphis, Tennessee, at the age of 42. The official cause of death was heart failure, exacerbated by his drug use. Elvis Presley's legacy continues to endure, with his music and image remaining iconic symbols of rock and roll. His influence can be seen in countless artists across various genres, and his contributions to music and popular culture are still celebrated. Despite the personal struggles that marked his later years, Presley's groundbreaking achievements and lasting impact on the music industry ensure his place as a cultural icon and a legendary figure in the history of entertainment. Daniel Baldwin Daniel Baldwin, born on October 5, 1960, is an American actor and the second oldest of the Baldwin brothers, a family renowned for their contributions to the entertainment industry. Baldwin gained recognition for his roles in films such as Born on the Fourth of July, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man, and the television series Homicide Life on the Street. Known for his intense performances, Baldwin carved out a niche for himself in Hollywood, often portraying complex and gritty characters. Baldwin's career, however, has been overshadowed by his struggles with substance abuse. He battled cocaine addiction for many years, leading to multiple stints in rehabilitation centers. His addiction issues became public knowledge in 1998 when he was arrested for running naked through the halls of New York's Plaza Hotel while under the influence of cocaine. Baldwin's journey through addiction has been tumultuous, marked by several relapses and personal challenges. Despite these setbacks, Daniel Baldwin has worked to rebuild his life and career. He has become an advocate for recovery and sobriety, often sharing his experiences to help others facing similar battles. Baldwin's efforts to overcome his addiction and his commitment to supporting those in recovery highlight his resilience and determination. While his struggles have been significant, his ongoing work in acting and advocacy underscores his ability to persevere and find new purpose in his life and career. Jeff Conaway Jeff Conaway, born on October 5, 1950, was an American actor best known for his roles as Kenneke in the iconic film Grease and as Bobby Wheeler on the television series Taxi. Conaway's charm and talent made him a recognizable face in the entertainment industry during the late 1970s and early 1980s. His work in Grease, a film that remains a beloved classic, cemented his place in pop culture history. Despite his professional success, Conaway's personal life was plagued by substance abuse and health issues. He struggled with addiction to cocaine, alcohol, and prescription painkillers problems that were exacerbated by chronic pain from a back injury sustained while filming Grease. His addiction issues were publicly highlighted when he appeared on the reality TV show Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew, where he candidly discussed his struggles with drug dependence and his efforts toward recovery. Jeff Conaway passed away on May 27, 2011, at the age of 60. His death was attributed to complications from pneumonia, 
which was exacerbated by his long-term substance abuse. Conaway's story is a poignant reminder of the destructive nature of addiction and the challenges faced by many in the entertainment industry. Despite his struggles, he is remembered for his significant contributions to film and television, and his candidness about his battles has helped bring attention to the realities of addiction. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr., born on April 4, 1965, is an American actor whose career has been marked by remarkable highs and profound lows. He gained early acclaim with roles in films such as Less Than Zero and Chaplin, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. Despite his immense talent, Downey's career was significantly derailed by his struggles with substance abuse. His addiction to drugs and alcohol led to numerous arrests, rehab stints, and a period of professional decline during the late 1990s and early 2000s. Downey's journey to recovery and redemption is one of the most compelling comeback stories in Hollywood. After several attempts at rehabilitation, he finally achieved sobriety and began to rebuild his life and career. His resurgence began with roles in films like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and Zodiac, but it was his portrayal of Tony Stark, Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that truly revitalized his career. Downey's performance as Iron Man not only brought him immense success, but also made him one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. Today, Robert Downey Jr. is celebrated not only for his acting talent, but also for his resilience and transformation. He has become a symbol of hope and recovery, using his experiences to advocate for sobriety and mental health awareness. His journey from the depths of addiction to the pinnacle of Hollywood success underscores his extraordinary ability to overcome adversity. Downey's legacy is one of talent, perseverance, and the power of second chances. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen, born Carlos Erwin Estevez on September 3, 1965, is an American actor known for his roles in hit television series and films. He first gained fame with his performances in Platoon and Wall Street, establishing himself as a leading actor in Hollywood. Sheen's career soared with his role in the popular sitcom Two and a Half Men, where his portrayal of the hedonistic Charlie Harper garnered him critical acclaim and significant earnings, making him one of the highest paid actors on television. Despite his professional success, Sheen's personal life has been tumultuous, marked by a series of publicized struggles with substance abuse and erratic behavior. His issues with alcohol and drugs led to multiple stints in rehab and numerous legal troubles. In 2011, his highly publicized meltdown resulted in his dismissal from two and a half men. Sheen's erratic behavior and infamous media appearances during this period further tarnished his public image and raised concerns about his well-being. In recent years, Charlie Sheen has sought to rebuild his life and career. He has opened up about his struggles with addiction and his diagnosis of HIV, aiming to raise awareness and reduce stigma. While his journey has been fraught with challenges, Sheen's efforts to turn his life around demonstrate his resilience and determination. His story is a complex narrative of immense talent overshadowed by personal demons, yet it also highlights the potential for recovery and redemption. Philip Seymour Hoffman Philip Seymour Hoffman, born on July 23, 1967, was an American actor and director renowned for his versatility and deeply compelling performances. Hoffman's career included a wide range of roles in both independent films and major Hollywood productions. He earned critical acclaim for his performances in movies such as Capote, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor, The Master, and Doubt. Hoffman's ability to embody complex characters with authenticity made him one of the most respected actors of his generation. Despite his professional achievements, Hoffman struggled with substance abuse for much of his life. He battled addiction to drugs and alcohol, a challenge that resurfaced in his later years after a period of sobriety. Hoffman's struggles with addiction were a private matter until his tragic death on February 2, 2014, at the age of 46. 
He was found dead in his New York City apartment from a heroin overdose, a loss that shocked the film industry and his fans worldwide. Philip Seymour Hoffman's legacy is defined by his extraordinary talent and the powerful impact of his performances. His work continues to be celebrated for its depth, nuance, and emotional resonance. Hoffman's tragic death underscores the pervasive issue of addiction, even among those who appear to have everything. He is remembered not only for his contributions to cinema, but also as a reminder of the human vulnerabilities that lie behind the public facade of success. Heath Ledger Heath Ledger, born on April 4, 1979, in Perth, Australia, was a talented actor whose career, though tragically short, left a lasting impact on the film industry. Ledger first gained attention in Hollywood with his roles in films like Ten Things I Hate About You and A Knight's Tale. His charm and versatility quickly established him as a rising star. However, it was his portrayal of Ennis Del Mar in Brokeback Mountain that garnered critical acclaim and earned him an Academy Award nomination, showcasing his depth and range as an actor. Ledger's most iconic and transformative role came with his portrayal of the Joker in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. His intense and haunting performance earned him posthumous acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. The role demonstrated his exceptional talent and dedication to his craft, further solidifying his legacy in cinematic history. However, behind his professional success, Ledger struggled with personal issues, including insomnia and anxiety, which he managed with prescription medications. On January 22, 2008, Heath Ledger was found dead in his New York City apartment from an accidental overdose of prescription drugs. He was only 28 years old. His untimely death shocked the world and highlighted the pressures and mental health struggles often faced by those in the spotlight. Ledger is remembered not only for his remarkable performances, but also for the potential that was tragically cut short. His legacy endures through his influential work and the profound impact he had on both his peers and audiences. Owen Wilson Owen Wilson, born on November 18, 1968, in Dallas, Texas, is an American actor, comedian, and screenwriter known for his distinct nasal voice, laid-back persona, and sharp wit. Wilson first gained recognition through his collaboration with filmmaker Wes Anderson, co-writing and starring in Bottle Rocket and The Royal Tenenbaums the latter earning them an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Screenplay. He has also starred in a series of successful comedies, including Wedding Crashers, Zoolander, and The Internship, establishing himself as a beloved figure in Hollywood. Despite his professional achievements, Wilson has faced significant personal struggles. In 2007, he was hospitalized following a suicide attempt, which brought his battle with depression and substance abuse into public view. The incident was a stark reminder of the mental health challenges that can afflict even those who appear to lead charmed lives. Wilson took time off to focus on his recovery, receiving support from his family and friends, and gradually returned to his career with renewed focus. Owen Wilson has since continued to thrive in both film and television, earning praise for his performances in projects like Midnight in Paris, for which he received a Golden Globe nomination, and the Loki series on Disney+. His resilience in the face of personal adversity has been inspiring to many. By openly addressing his struggles and working towards recovery, Wilson has become an advocate for mental health awareness using his platform to shed light on the importance of seeking help and supporting those in need. Mac Miller Mac Miller, born Malcolm James McCormick on January 19, 1992, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, was an American rapper, singer, and record producer known for his introspective lyrics and versatile musical style. Miller began his music career as a teenager, gaining popularity with his mixtapes and breakthrough debut studio album Blue Slide Park in 2011. His early work was characterized by a carefree, party-centric vibe, 
which resonated with a young audience and quickly propelled him to fame. As Miller matured, so did his music. He explored deeper and more complex themes in albums like Watching Movies with the Sound Off, Go AM, and The Divine Feminine. His evolving sound showcased his growth as an artist and a person, earning him critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Despite his professional success, Miller struggled with substance abuse and mental health issues, which he openly addressed in his music, offering a raw and honest look at his personal battles. On September 7, 2018, Mac Miller was found dead in his home from an accidental overdose involving fentanyl, cocaine, and alcohol. He was only 26 years old. Miller's untimely death shocked the music world and his fans, highlighting the devastating impact of the opioid crisis. His final album, Swimming, and the posthumously released Circles, were lauded for their introspective and mature sound, serving as a testament to his talent and the potential that was tragically cut short. Mac Miller's legacy lives on through his music, which continues to inspire and resonate with listeners, reflecting his journey and the profound influence he had on the hip-hop community. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video. Comment too so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.